Method 2. Knowing what to say. Greet the person. Always remember to give an introductory greeting, even something as informal as hello works fine in most situations. This opens up communication between you and sets the tone for the interaction. If the other person hasn't noticed you, you will now be on their radar. Tell the person your name and inquire about theirs if it isn't offered. Tell the person, so nice to meet you or something along those lines that tells them you are happy to be talking with them. Ask questions. One of the biggest things to remember when meeting and trying to attract new people is that people like to talk about themselves. If you seem genuinely interested in them, they may seek you out again or become more curious about you. Find out as much about the person as you can ask what they like to do, the things they enjoy or find interesting or what their goals are. Open-ended questions work the best because they encourage the person to share more information. Start with a compliment, such as one regarding their outfit. If they just performed or spoke during a conference or meeting, for example, then compliment them on what they did or said. If you know about their work, find something about it to praise. Say something like, I love your shoes or I really admired what you said. If you are attending a party or other special event, you might ask, how do you know the host? You can ask questions like, what's your favorite type of music or what movies have you seen lately, as icebreakers. Point out something you have in common, such as it looks like we're both wine slash art slash fashion fans. What is your favorite kind? Remember names. Remembering someone's name is a sure way to come across as interested. Repeat the name after you hear it out loud. Then, try to remember it with a mnemonic device, such as a rhyme or alliteration, by repeating it in your head. 15 Something like Joe, Joe from SoCo can work wonders to help you put a face to a name later. Avoid certain topics. Negative energy tends to push people away. Don't complain insult the person, gossip, or use sarcasm during your conversation. Stay away from controversial topics or ones that may make you seem superficial, such as money, religion, or health. Be polite and respectful. Being a little more formal than necessary and using a sign of respect can earn you positive attention. Use words like sir and ma'am to refer to older individuals or superiors and always be sure to say, thank you and you're welcome. Be open, honest, and helpful. These factors are always important in any relationship but can be especially beneficial in a professional environment where information can sometimes be guarded. If there is something you don't know but can find out for the person, let them know that you will be seeking an answer for them. This shows that you are willing to go out of your way to help. Try phrases like, here's what's happening, how can I help? Or I'll find out. Offering to help is a great way to earn appreciation and gratitude. If you can make an impact on another person's success, then go for it. People will notice you and you will begin to attract more people who like your proactive, supportive nature. Don't be afraid to admit your weaknesses. People like those who are willing to confess what they need to work on or who aren't afraid to acknowledge when they need help. Showing some humility will go a long way to make people like you. Offer words of encouragement. Validation from others can inspire us to work harder so we achieve more. You can really make a positive impact by offering words of encouragement. I believe in you is a heartening and reassuring thing for someone to hear. It also greatly increases your likability factor. Talk more. 
People like those who aren't afraid to fill the silences. When people are quiet during conversations, we tend to wonder what they are thinking and if they like us. When you let your thoughts be heard, you take the guesswork out of the interaction, and make others feel at ease. If you need something to talk about, share good news. Be the person who has the positive outlook and has something uplifting to say. This could be anything from good national or world news, to good news for a company or organization. It could even be something personal, like the birth of a child. Have a few funny or interesting stories ready. You can start the conversation off this way after your introduction to show that you are easygoing. These can also be used to fill silences. Exit the conversation when you've made a good impression. Excuse yourself and repeat the person's name to leave the person feeling good after your interaction. The key is to make the person want something more from you, perhaps another conversation or maybe they are curious about something you said or did. Excuse yourself and ask for a number or email exchange before busying yourself with some other task or conversation. Say, it's been a pleasure to get to know you, John. Some relationship counselors recommend waiting to consummate a romantic relationship. Holding off can increase attraction, allowing you to try a relationship and get to know the person first. Please like, comment, share, subscribe our channel and no details click our social media link.